now question number 5 look at the question the dimensional formula of a by b in the equation this is the given equations here p represent the pressure so pressure is equal to a minus ct square divided by bx pressure is equal to a minus ct square divided by bx in this relation p denotes the pressure and the x denotes the displacement and t denotes the time okay we need to find the dimensional formula of a by b okay one more thing here a b c are constants that they forgot to say they should consider listen so given pressure given pressure p is equal to a minus ct square divided by bx where a b c are constant a b c are constant okay so the left hand side is pressure also we can write it as also the pressure t is equal to a by bx minus ct square divided by bx okay further the pressure b is equal to a by b into 1 by x minus c by b into t square by x if now from this uh, relation only we need to find the a by b value that is the dimensional formula of a by b so uh, this is the pressure appo in the left hand side la pressure na right hand side la irukirathu in the a by b oda value edhuk equal a irukum it is also equal to pressure and c, uh, c by b also equal to pressure but they ask you to dimensional formula of a by b so finding in finding the dimensional formula of a by b then how can we rearrange a by b so a by b into 1 by x is equal to pressure so for pressure what is the dimensional formula a by b if the x is displacement no first you substitute the displacement it is l and what is the dimensional formula of the pressure pressure is static but force by area force acting over unit area for force it is mass into acceleration so mlt power minus 2 and for area it is meter square l square therefore the dimensional formula of the pressure is m power 1 l power minus 1 t power minus 2 this is the dimensional formula of the pressure okay so substitute it what is the dimension m power 1 l power minus 1 t power minus 2 but they are asking us to find the value of uh, dimensional formula of a by b no therefore a by b is equal to this denominator i'll multiply with that side then already we have m power 1 l power minus 1 this l is multiplied there then t power minus 2 then finally the dimension of a by b is m power 1 This is minus one. This is plus one. So cancel away zero. A power m into A power n. It's zero. So L power zero and T power minus two. This is the dimension of uh, the ratio A by B. अपन A by B और dimension ये देखिए equal m L uh, m T power minus two. I repeat once again how to find this dimension. This is the relation for pressure is given. A minus C C square by B X. Here A B C are constant. And the x denotes the displacement, p denotes the pressure, t denotes the time. But in questions, they are asking you to find the uh, dimensional formula of a by b. Okay, what is the dimensional formula of a by b? So this is a given relation. We can modify and write it as this denominator is common for both the terms a and c t square. So a by b x minus c t square by b x. A by b x minus c t square divided by b x. Therefore. If this is a pressure, this also indicates a pressure, and this term also indicates pressure. But we need not to find. How we can trigger the in the term or not? Suppose pressure is equal to a by b into one by x. Therefore, x is the displacement. The dimension is l. So a by b is equal to one by x. L. You are transferred to the right answer. It is multiplied. Already here l power minus one is there. Now it is l power one. It is cancel away, becomes zero. So this is the dimensional formula of what? pressure 
ओके नाउ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन Here we use the relation principle of homogeneity. In this case, we use the uh, case principle of homogeneity that you should not forget. Using a principle of homogeneity only, uh, we are deduce the dimensional formula of the constant a by b. Next one, we know equation of motion in this. equation of motion question second equation of motion we should check dimensionally correct or not question number 6 from equation of motion s is equal to ut plus half at square is dimensionally correct or wrong so this question is dimensionally correct or wrong okay so use the uh, symbols have their usual meaning where the symbols have the usual meaning where the symbols have their usual meaning okay so the given equation of motion is s is equal to ut plus of at square okay we should prove left hand side is equal to right hand side here s is displacement where s is displacement u is initial velocity but some cases we use a v not but in this question they given u in some other cases instead of u they may given v not initial velocity and a is acceleration a stands for acceleration and t is at time taken t is time taken okay therefore in this equation we should prove left hand side is equal to right hand side left hand side is equal to right hand side so lhs should be rhs so first in lhs in lhs for displacement the dimension is m power 0 l power 1 t power 0 then in right hand side first term in right hand side first term the first term is what is the first term ut for ut we need to find the dimensions what is the u u is the velocity for velocity what is the dimension that is no mass uh what is the velocity it is a display a distance by time a uh, velocity displacement by time so l power 1 t power minus 1 okay into time another one time is multiplied into time power 1 therefore m power 0 l power 1 t power minus 1 into t power plus 1 become t power 0 so left hand side we approve right hand side first term also we approve again right hand side second term in right hand side second term what is the second term in right hand side what is the time? second term given half at square no so half at square for constants we cannot set dimensions note it like constant numbers 1 by 2 is a constant for constants we cannot set dimensions so a t square only so a t square have a dimension acceleration so acceleration has no mass only the length and the time for minus 2 into time square into time square so what is the final dimension there is no mass L power one, t power minus two into t power two becomes t power zero. So we have got the dimensions. Therefore, s is equal to u t plus 
of AD square have a dimensions in left hand side and right hand side. In left hand side also m power 0, l power 1, t power 0. This ut also same, m power 0, l power 1, t power 0. This of AD square also the same dimension in right hand side. Plus uh, m power 0, l power 1, t power 0. So this equation is dimensionally correct. Therefore, the given equation is if we have the equation s is equal to ut plus half a d square, this is dimensionally correct. The given equation is dimensionally correct. Dimensionally correct. So, it is also used to check the homogeneity of the equations. And the given equation is whether correct or wrong also we can use to define. So, dimensional formula has some uses. In the last previous classes, I said. Now, this equation also, uh, whether it is correct or wrong, we can check. Okay. Last question, question number seven. Look at the question. For a particle to move in a circular path, okay, there is a particle which is moving in a circular path. There is a particle which is moving. Let the particle have the mass m. Moving in a circular path of the radius. What is the radius of the particle? R. R is the radius of the particle. And moves with a constant velocity V. Not a constant velocity, velocity. So a particle of mass M moves in a circular path with the radius R having a velocity V. Express the centripetal force in terms of this quantity. So we need to calculate the centripetal force. The centripetal force which always acts towards the center of the circle. Okay, the centripetal force always acts towards the center of the circle and radius of the circle remains constant. When the particle moves in a circular motion, um, the radius remains constant and mass also constant. But velocity, it varies. Okay, anyhow, we, uh, the centripetal force, the centripetal force that depends on the following quantity. What are the following quantity? Mass of the particle velocity of the particle and radius of the circle, okay. Uh, whereas we don't know the exponent. So the mass exponent is A, velocity exponent is B, radius exponent is C. Now substitute dimensional formula. Before that, the proportional become equal. We have one constant. Here this is a dimensionless constant K. And later cases, this K value to be determined experimentally, okay. So F is equal, F is equal to K into m power a, uh, mass power a, velocity exponent b, and radius exponent c. This is equation number 1. In this equation, you use dimensional formula on both sides. So using dimensional formula on both the sides, both the sides, here force now in left hand side. So force, what is the dimension? The force only we should find. Anyway, the force dimension is m power 1, l power 1, t power minus 2. And here constant is k. So, mass, so m power a. And velocity, no m. So, l t power minus 1, whole exponent b. And radius also l power c. Okay. Then further we can simplify. In left hand side, no change. m power 1, l power 1, t power minus 2. In right hand side, k into m power a, then the b is common for both the terms, so it becomes l power b, already here one c is there, so plus c into t power minus b, t power minus b. Okay, now compare the exponents in this equation too. Compare this equation, left hand and right hand sides are equal, so the exponents are equal. On comparing its exponent, what is the exponent of this equation? The exponents are so mass, so mass power 1, here mass power a, mass power 1, here mass power a, therefore a is equal to 1. Then l power 1. Here, L power B plus C. Therefore, 
denominators are equal so exponents also equal so b plus c is equal to 1 the next one t power minus 2 here t power minus b therefore minus b is equal to minus 2 or b is equal to 2 if b is equal to 2 substitute the b value here 2 plus c is equal to 1 so c is equal to 1 minus 2 which is equal to minus 1 So now you got the exponent value. Substitute this exponent in two. Substitute exponent in equation two. So what you will get? This is a force, no? So no change. Um, substitute the exponent. Then what you will get? The force F is equal to k into mass power. What is the mass power? One. Then Length. What is the length? Oh, not in this equation. In first equation, uh, k into in first equation only we should substitute k into mass power a. What is the mass power a? Mass power one and the velocity power b. What is the b? Velocity power two. Then radius power minus one. See no? Or f is equal to k into M v square. This denominator value you can bring the radius to denominator. Yes, m v square by r. I'll note it once again. The value of k to be determined experimentally, but later we'll use it as one. For unity, it becomes one. So the centripetal force formula is m v square by r. So in this case, we are obtaining the centripetal force. Okay. I repeat once again. There is a particle of mass m. This is the particle of mass m moving in a circular motion. With the centripetal force having a velocity v with a constant radius, then using the equality mass, velocity, and radius, these are the three quality mass, velocity, and radius. Using this quantity, calculate the centripetal force formula. The centripetal force is responsible for the continuous circular motion of the particle. Therefore, the centripetal force acts towards the center. Moreover, how to find the formula? So, from the given quantities, the force is proportional to Product of mass, product of velocity, and product of radius. But we don't know the exponents. So let the exponent of mass is a, and exponent of velocity is b. Exponent of the radius is c. Now using the dimensional formula on the both the sides, we can get the exponents a, b, c value. These values to be substituted in the first formula. Then finally we arrive at the centripetal force formula. That is f is f f is equal to m v square by r. But the value of k to be determined experimentally okay thank you okay after the seven examples that that is extra sums now we are going to discuss some more questions question number 1 some these questions are all comes under very short answer type questions what are the derived unit this already i said what is the derived unit the uh, using fundamental units we are derive something is called derived unit so the unit of those physical quantities which are derived from the fundamental unit adavad the fundamental unit use pani derive pandrathu ellame comes under derived quantity or uh, derived units example if you want to find area you will use a side so side into side that is nothing but length into length similarly if you want to know the volume you will use side into side into side then now you have a volume and uh, if you have a mass of the object also then easily you can find the density so density is a ratio between mass and volume here mass is a fundamental quantity then volume is a derived quantity then the derived quantity volume also obtained by using fundamental quantity so uh, the derived quantity which are derived by using the physical quantities are called fundam um, using a fundamental units are called derived units then the next question what do you understand by fundamental physical quantity look at that fundamental physical quantity nu ungalku enna theriyudhu appdin ketirukanga actually this fundamental physical quantities which are independent of each other so edha poduthume illa example mass length time temperature electric current luminous density and amount of substance these are the basic seven fundamental quantities the next question define parsec already we know light here similarly what is a parsec 
so it is also a unit used to measure the larger distance so a distance at which a star would have an annual parallax of 1 second of arc so 1 second of arc parallax la evlo irukum that is called parsec this value is a constant value which is equal to 3.08 into 10 to the power 16 meter so which is very high which is greater than the light year also now question number 4 define atomic mass unit what is atomic mass unit what is the difference between kilogram and atomic mass unit so generally in a known ma object mass uh, to estimate the mass of the known object we use a kilogram as a unit but the object size is very small uh, less than a gram we cannot use a kilogram as a unit so we'll use atomic mass unit like a element molecule even a atom so all that so atomic mass unit which is a unit used to estimate the very smaller uh, object so the atomic mass unit is equal to 1 by 12th of the carbon 12 atom so apa carbon 12 atom la 1 by 12th of the mass la evlo number of elementary entities iruko that is equal to atomic mass unit and this atomic mass unit is approximately equal to mass of a proton not accurately approximately mm, that is 1.66 into 10 to the power minus 27 kg whereas electron mass is 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg okay now moving to fifth question which is bigger unit light year or parsec so when you compare panna edu bigger unit as i said already comparing uh, light year parsec it is a greater because light year is uh, very less 9.467 into 10 to the power 15 meter only but parsec is greater parsec is bigger unit than light year um and comparison they given they compare the light year and parsec and given the value one parsec is equal to 3.26 light years okay so parsec only greater then sixth question do angstrom and the atomic unit stand for same length angstrom uh, astronomical unit okay both also same no angstrom and astronomical unit both also not same one angstrom is equal to 10 to the power minus 10 meter okay uh, this is a very small uh, unit like smaller length example um, size of an atom is estimated in angstrom but astronomical unit is a mean distance between center of sun to center of earth that is 1.496 into 10 to the power 11 meter now moving to question number 7 name two pairs of physical quantities whose dimensions are same endha rendu physical quantity oda dimensions ore mari irukum appadina stress and young's modulus okay stress and young's modulus idu namba pinadi padipom young's modulus also will be learning and the work and energy both have joule work and energy both have joule so joule is a unit na dimension is same and the stress and the young modulus what is the stress stress is nothing but um, change in dimension um, yes force acting over the unit area okay it's like a pressure so stress and young's modulus both also have a same unit and same dimension uh, dimensions similarly work and energy both have a same units or same dimension next question what is the order of uh, precision of an atomic clock atomic clock oda precision pathina it's a very very greater precision அதாவது ஒரு செகண்ட்ல எவ்வளவு இருக்கும்னா அபவுட் ஒன் இன் டென் டு த பவர் டுவெல் டு டென் டு த பவர் தேர்ட்டீன் ஸோ கம்பேரிங் மெக்கானிக்கல் வாட்ச் பிகாஸ் வில் யூஸ் அ குவாட்ஸ் கிறிஸ்டல் இன் இட் ஸோ அதில் எரர்ஸ் இருக்கும் அந்த எரர் கம்பேர் பண்ணுறப்ப இட் ஹேவ் கிரேட்டர் அக்யூரஸி ஸோ த ப்ரிசிஷன் இஸ் அபவுட் ஒன் இன் டென் டு த பவர் டுவெல் டு டென் டு த பவர் தேர்ட்டீன் செகண்ட் நெக்ஸ்ட் ரேடார் வாட் இஸ் அக்ரோனியம் ஆஃப் ரேடார் ஆர் ரேடார் ஸ்டாண்ட்ஸ் ஃபார் இட் இஸ் அ ரேடியோ detection and ranging okay similarly sonar it is sound navigation and ranging okay moving to 11th question now the question number 11 there is a function f is equal to x square then what is the relative error in the given function அப்போ இந்த கொடுத்துருக்க ஃபங்க்ஷன் எக்ஸ் ஸ்கொயருக்கு ரிலேட்டிவ் வேறர் என்ன இருக்குன்னு சொல்லிட்டு ஸோ எக்ஸ் ஸ்கொயரில் டூ இஸ் எக்ஸ்போனண்ட்
So, we calculate the power of the So, the power of 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 the the front here so this 2 comes here in the front then as usual error it's a ratio only no so delta x by x so this is exponent code example for x cube also it is 3 into delta x by x okay and y square also it is 2 into delta y by y then question number 12 name at least 6 physical quantities whose dimensions are m l square t power minus 2 here m is a dimension for mass L is a dimension for length, T is a dimension for time. Okay. So, name at least 6 physical quantities whose dimensions are ml square t power minus 2. So, work and energy. So, energy, we the previous question, work and energy both are same unit. No? So, it is a work and the energy in the potential energy, kinetic energy. Similarly, torque and moment of force. Torque. Torque is nothing but force into perpendicular distance. So, torque and moment of force also, force into perpendicular distance, couple. So, for couple torque almost similarly it conveys the same meaning. So, work, torque, couple, moment of force and the energy that is potential energy, kinetic energy. These all have the same dimension formula ml square t power minus 2. Now, question number 13. Name 4 units used in the measurement of extremely short distance. We have to use short distance, not a long distance. Short distance we use a unit in the micron. So, 1 micron. So, 1 micron is 10 to the power minus 6 meter. 1 nanometer is 10 to the power minus 9 meter. 1 angstrom is 10 to the power minus 10 meter. And Fermi is still very smaller, 10 to the power minus 15 meter. So, bacteria and all can be visible under microscope because the size of bacteria comes under this order. Okay. And uh, angstrom is atomic size and the Fermi is uh, nuclear size. So, these are all the uh, four various unit for measuring very uh, shorter distance. Now, question number 14. If x is equal to a plus bt plus ct square where x is in meter which means a displacement and t is in second so which means a time then what is the unit of e okay what is the unit of it's not a e it's a c so answer we know according to principle of homogeneity in a previous case let each panada appa idu displacement na idu un displacement then idu un ku displacement result and varano idu ku displacement result and varano okay so now there is uh, ct square in the c then the so upper ct square is the displacement equal upper either equal this both are equal this x o in the ct square equal so b t o x u equal x u a o equal so upper ct square is equal to displacement x that is the length um, or c is equal to l by t square so upper now we will see constant c and c and the acceleration. Arko. This is the acceleration. Arko. Apo, this is displacement, this is velocity, then this, this is acceleration, meter per second square. That is the denominator second square, ho, in the time second square, cancel the displacement. Then dimension is displacement, this displacement, plus this whole displacement, this, this whole displacements so idu mari ella ore mari irukiradha enna nu solluvomna principle of homogeneity this is called principle of homogeneity next moving to 15th question do all the physical quantities have same dimensions if no name four physical quantities which are dimensionless ella physical quantity ku ore dimension irukumana kandipa irukadhu so, we have acceleration core dimensions, new, um, then force core dimensions, velocity core dimensions. So, all the physical quantity do not have a same dimensions. So, for n the physical quantity dimension is dimension less. Question like it is dimension less. Example, angle. It is a radian, no? So, for the dimension is Then, specific gravity you will be learning in 9th chapter. Specific gravity dimension less. 
500 ratio also you will be learning in a second volume so ratio now a dimensions illa cancel ayirum then strain strain is nothing but change in dimension from original dimension so this also dimensionless quantity okay so the four uh, dimensionless quantity examples are angle specific gravity poisson's ratio and strain okay so these are the four physical quantity that does not have any dimension so it is a dimensionless quantity next question obtain the dimension of relative density relative density ki dimensions irukka nu ketirukanga relative density it is a ratio we are going to relate the substance density with the water so relative density is the ratio between density of given substance to density of water appo kuduthiruka substance undu namakku ipo aluminium a irukku and aluminium thoda density vandu nambo water oda density oda compare pannanum so it is a ratio between density of given substance to density of water that is the standard substance okay so appo kuduthu substance oda unit to kilogram per meter cube standard substance oda density um kilogram per meter cube appo rendume cancels the unit is cancel away so appo finally namak unit irukka na no relative density is a dimensionless quantity okay so appo nam inga specific gravity paatha mari adla nam additional edhi include pannikalam relative density nam inga include pannikalam then next question question number 17 obtain the dimensional formula for coefficient of viscosity so idiyo na second volume la paaka porom but formula kuduthiruvanga question la ungalku so here force is equal to eta into area into change in velocity by change in uh, displacement okay so f is equal to eta into adv by dx idhu da formula therefore eta is a coefficient of viscosity in the coefficient of viscosity in kuduthirukanga laya this is the symbol of coefficient of viscosity so the coefficient of viscosity is equal to in the denominator value multiply avum in the multiplication denominator ku vandrum change aayiruchu so appo force into displacement divided by area into velocity so appo first idhukku ellame dimension set pannunga force oda dimension enna mlt power minus 2 then displacement of dimension it's a meter so l area meter square so l square then velocity meter per second so uh, length by time that is uh, lt power minus 1 ipo inga l square irukku inga l irukku appo reduce seintha l cube aagum inda l cube adhe mari mele enna irukku l into l l square irukku denominator la iruka l cube numerator porappo minus aayirum already or l square irukku appo inga dimension enna irchi L square into L power minus 3 become L power minus 1. அதே மாதிரி இங்க டைமுக்கு வந்து மைனஸ் இருக்கு இந்த டினாமினேட்டர் வேல்யூ நியூமரேட்டர் ஆச்சுன்னா டி பவர் ஒன் ஆகும் இங்க ஆல்ரெடி டி பவர் மைனஸ் டூ இருக்கு அப்போ டி பவர் மைனஸ் டூ இன்டு டி பவர் ஒன் பிகம் டி பவர் மைனஸ் ஒன் ஸோ எம் பவர் ஒன் எல் பவர் மைனஸ் ஒன் இன்டு டி பவர் மைனஸ் ஒன் இஸ் த டைமென்ஷனல் ஃபார்முலா ஆஃப் கோஎஃபிஷியன்ட் ஆஃப் விஸ்காசிட்டி next question number 18 do specific heat and latent heat have same dimensions no even though the heat heat ingra word vandirundalo specific heat is totally different from latent heat so both not have a same dimension then question number 19 do mass and weight have same dimension no mass is amount of matter contained in a body but weight is gravitational force pulls the body so mass is constant at everywhere but weight varies from place to place so it is only kilogram but weight is only newton so it have dimension only m it have dimension mlt power minus 2 so it both have a different dimension now question number 20 given that the value of g in g uh, cgs system as 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 8 dyn cm square gram power minus 2 find the values in mk system which means um, meter kilogram second so cg system la kuduthirukiradha mk system ku convert pannom so eppadi convert panna porom so idu given value adha cg s la irundhu mk s convert pandra appo power value change pannom appo centimeter square meter square convert pannom gram kilogram convert pannom then 
dyn is a cgs unit of force adanoda sc system enna va irukum newton okay similarly meter square uh, is a si unit of what si unit of uh, length so adhe adhe mk system convert pannitom convert pannittu power alla rearrange panna namakku final a 6.67 into 10 to the power 11 nu varum okay actually it's a printing mistake it's a minus 11 mm, here minus 11 should come idu vandu neenga 9th chapter la padipinga now you need not to memorize this the same questions answer you will be uh, knowing while you are coming to 9th chapter gravitation now question number 21 is avogadro number a dimensionless quantity avogadro number ku dimension na iruka illaya dimensionless quantity a illaya no it has a dimensions in fact the dimensional formula is mole inverse amount of substance will use mole no so mole inverse then can a physical quantity have a dimensions but still have no unit no it is not possible amuk iruka physical quantity ki vandittu கண்டிப்பாக என்ன இருக்காது ஃபிசிக்கல் குவான்டிட்டி ஹேவ் டை டைமென்ஷன் இருந்து யூனிட் இல்லாமல் இருக்காது ஏன்னா நம்ம யூனிட் வச்சு தான் டைமென்ஷனே ஃப்ரேம் பண்ணுவோம் ஸோ நோ ஃபிசிக்கல் குவான்டிட்டி ஹேவ் ஒன்லி த டைமென்ஷன்ஸ் வித்வுட் யூனிட் நோ மூவிங் டு கொஸ்டின் நம்பர் டுவெண்ட்டி த்ரீ ஆர் ஆல் கான்ஸ்டன்ட் டைமென்ஷன்ஸ் நமக்கு இருக்க எல்லா கான்ஸ்டன்ட்டும் கான்ஸ்டன்ட்டுமே டைமென்ஷன்லெஸ்ஸாக இருக்குமா இப்போ நம்ம முன்னாடி ஒரு கான்ஸ்டன்ட் பார்த்தோம் அதே மாதிரி கே அப்படிங்கிற ஒரு கான்ஸ்டன்ட்டுக்கு டைமென்ஷன்ஸ் கண்டிப்பாக இருக்கு so but different constants have a dimension whereas some other constants have not have dimensions so all the constants are not dimensionless question number 24 what is newton per meter per second square is equal to adu edhuk equal a irukum solli ketirukanga so po newton ave kilogram meter per second square so adha substitute pannunga instead of newton kilogram meter per second square substitute pannunga அப்போ மீட்ரு மீட்ரு கேன்சல் ஆயிரும் செகண்ட் ஸ்கொயர் செகண்ட் ஸ்கொயர் கேன்சல் ஆயிரும் அப்போ ஃபைனலாக என்ன இருக்கும் கிலோகிராம் மட்டும் இருக்குமா எஸ் ஸோ திஸ் கொஷின் இஸ் வெரி சிம்பிள் நியூட்டன் பர் மீட்டர் செகண்ட் ஸ்கொயர் எதுக்கு ஈக்குவல் ஆர் நியூட்டன் செகண்ட் ஸ்கொயர் பெர் மீட்டர் எதுக்கு ஈக்குவல் ஸோ இந்த கொஷினில் நியூட்டன் பதில் நம்ம என்ன யூஸ் பண்ணலாம் நியூட்டன் இஸ் அ யூனிட் ஆஃப் ஃபோர்ஸோ ஃபோர்ஸ்னோ ஸோ இன்ஸ்டட் ஆஃப் நியூட்டன் வி மே யூஸ் மாஸ் இன்டு ஆக்சலரேஷன் தட் இஸ் கிலோகிராம் மீட்டர் பர் செகண்ட் ஸ்கொயர் So, our meter second uh, power minus 2. Then, so, meter meter cancel, second square, second square cancel, remaining kilogram is equal to so, the mass. It is equal to the quantity mass. So, that is not a unit of the kilogram. Then, question number 25. Express a joule in terms of fundamental units. Express a joule in terms of fundamental units. So, we know that joule is a unit of energy. So, already it is ml square t power minus 2. அப்போ எனர்ஜியோட யூனிட் ஒன் ஜூல் அப்போ ஒன் ஜூலோட மீனிங் என்ன ஒன் குளோரம் ஆஃப் ஆப்ஜெக்ட் ப்ரொடியூஸ் எஸ் ஒன் குளோரம் ஆஃப் ஆப்ஜெக்ட் ஃபார் ஒன் மீட்டர் டிஸ்டன்ஸ் ப்ரொடியூஸ் அண்ட் ஆக்சலரேஷன் ஆஃப் ஒன் மீட்டர் பர் செகண்ட் ஸ்கொயர் திஸ் இஸ் வாட் இஸ் இட் ஜூல் அப்போ ஜூல் இஸ் எஸ் யூனிட் ஆஃப் எனர்ஜி அப்போ அதை வந்துட்டு ஃபண்டமெண்டல் யூனிட்ஸாக எப்படி சொல்லுவீங்க அப்படின்னா 1 joule is equal to 1 kilogram meter square second power minus 2 okay next one what is the dimensionless formula for torque torque is nothing but force into perpendicular distance appo force ki ml t power minus 2 into inner distance appo l and l become l square okay then next question number 27 this question is important is nuclear mass density depend on the mass number nuclear mass density depends on mass number or independent of mass number as i discussed the same type of question already the nuclear radius r is equal to r not into a to the power uh, 1 by 3 r r cube is proportional to a so proportional become equal we'll get the constant and r cube number right hand side transfer pandrappa anga cube root ku vandrum so here r not is the constant value பட் அவங்க என்ன கேட்டிருக்காங்கன்னா மாஸ் நம்பரை டிபெண்ட் பண்ணி இருக்கா திஸ் நியூக்ளியர் மாஸ் டென்சிட்டி டிபெண்ட்ஸ் ஆன் த மாஸ் நம்பரான்னு கேட்டிருக்காங்க சின்ஸ் டென்சிட்டி இஸ் த ரேஷியோ பிடுவின் மாஸ் அண்ட் வால்யூம் ஸோ மாஸ் தட் இஸ் ஏ மாஸ் நம்பர் வாட் இஸ் அ வால்யூம் நியூக்ளியர் வால்யூம் இட்ஸ் இஸ் வெரிக்கல் இன்ஷியப் ஸோ ஃபோர் பை த்ரீ பை ஆர் கியூப் ஸோ ஃபோர் பை த்ரீ பை ஆர் கியூ
அப்ப ஏ அண்ட் ஏ கேன்சல் அப்ப இது எல்லாமே கான்ஸ்டன்ட் ஆயிடுச்சு தேர் ஃபோர் இட் இஸ் இண்டிபெண்ட் ஆஃப் மாஸ் நம்பர் நெக்ஸ்ட் கொஸ்டின் நம்பர் ட்வெண்ட்டி எயிட் வாட் டஸ் லேசர் ஸ்டாண்ட்ஸ் ஃபார் லேசரோட எக்ஸ்பென்ஷன் என்னன்னு கேட்டிருக்காங்க ஸோ இட் இஸ் நத்திங் பட் லைட் ஆம்பிளிஃபிகேஷன் பை ஸ்டிமுலேட்டட் எமிஷன் ஆஃப் ரேடியேஷன் இதுதான் லேசரோட அக்ரோனியம் தேங்க்யூ